I am James David Manning, pastor of the Atla World Missionary Church in Harlem, Atla, New York. I am also the host of the daily radio broadcast called The Manning Report. On the 16th of November, 2009, on or about 6 p.m. in the afternoon, two CIA agents claiming to be members of Homeland Security and two New York City detectives came to our church to ask me questions regarding statements I have made about Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy, Obama. They drew my attention, the agents did, to a posting on our website called Tea Party Members Go Viral on the Birth Certificate. And in that particular posting, I stated that the long-legged Mac Daddy is invincible by the vote. But only should you turn your attention to the birth certificate issue, then he becomes outrageously vulnerable. He is indeed an illegal alien and is not qualified to be the U.S. president. I spoke in that particular video posting as a servant of the Most High God, whose name is Jesus, who prophesied. Jesus did, that Obama would rise from the dark kingdom. If you will read in the book of Matthew chapter 24, starting at verse 1, but specifically focusing on verse 24 and all the verses of tribulation, pestilence, earthquakes, and diverse places that will precede Matthew's gospel 24, verse 24. And Jesus also stated that the world would be deceived. The day of evil has arrived, according to the prophecy of Jesus. And now, in this day, good is called evil, and evil is proclaimed as good. The long-legged Mac Daddy has transcended politics and entered into the region of global evil and the bringer of a false hope and false change. As God's servant, I am commanded uh, to spend all of my energy and time to overthrow this evil that has entered into our world. As an American patriot, I am compelled to fight to restore our republic and its constitution. I expect, as a result of the visit last night by the CIA, and New York City police detectives, homeland security people. I expect to be arrested in not too many days. Therefore, I pray to explain the entire matter of the dark kingdom and my representation of light in these very dark and evil days. I will be charged with the threat against the life of the U.S. president. However, I wish to quickly explain, such charge will be invalid as the person now wearing the label of president is not constitutionally eligible, therefore he is invalid. This person who now wears the label of the U.S. president has hidden from the American populace all of his vital records, his high school diploma, his records of his sojourn and his adoption in Jakarta, Indonesia by Lolo Shatoro, his admittance to Occidental College, the scholarships that he received, also his admittance to Columbia University and all graduation diplomas, papers, theses and writings in any of these schools and universities. He has carefully hidden and covered every one of his tracks that would let us know who he is and why he exists in this nation. He has posted on his website a fraudulent forensic fraud of a certificate of live birth that is laughable at best and pathetic at worst. Therefore, there is ample reason to believe that he is not a U.S. citizen, therefore not qualified or eligible to serve as U.S. President, therefore any charges against me 
will later be proven to be invalid. Many patriots have petitioned the courts, the U.S. Supreme Court, the highest court of our land, for relief on this all-important issue. The courts have become complicit against the heartbeat of this nation and against its constitution. The defense of the treason, this organized treason and ongoing treason that is now being perpetrated against the American people, they have stated that he has demonstrated all that is needed to be the U.S. president. However, I wish to state that upon my arrest, which I believe is imminent, that these charges will then be brought before the public and perhaps even before the U.S. Supreme Court. The media, likewise, has been complicit. I have called them an associate with the prince of the power of the air, as found in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. For they have conspired to commit treason against the American people. Broadcast mediums like MSNBC, Fox News, and anchor persons such as Bill O'Reilly and Glenn Beck have soothed the American people with frivolous claims that they are there and they are looking out for you. But they have become complicit. All media now stands in full and regular defense of this criminal activity, ignoring the largest story in political history in the annals of this great nation and republic, whereupon the world's most notorious criminal has entered into the position of the president of this nation allegedly and has taken power of the greatest nation that ever was by absolute fraud. But with the complicity of the media that has made all of this possible. Understanding that I will be arrested, I wish to state to my church family, friends, and supporters that at present I am of a sound mind, that the evil dark kingdom that is now led by Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, that they in the arrest will not take my freedom simply by placing me in chains. But they took the freedom from all of us with their acts of treason and their conspiracy to commit treason against the American people. Thusly, we all have lost our freedoms. I want you to know, my church family, friends and supporters, that I knowingly and willingly have submitted to my God who asked me to serve him in this cause and in this matter. And he alone has set my course and he alone will be my judge. And so I say to Mr. Barack Hussein, the long-legged Mac Daddy Obama, members of the Central Intelligence Agency, Eric Holder, Leon Panetta, and all the others, that here I am at the Atla World Missionary Church in Harlem, Atla, New York. You may come and arrest me. I am waiting. I will not resist, for I welcome that you would do so. And in doing so, we can finally bring this matter of your ineligibility to serve this great republic and your belligerent trashing of the Constitution can be brought to the American people. I await your arrest. I'm James David Manning, and I ask that God would bless all of us and that he would save America.